take a few minutes of your time today. Uh, I'm actually really excited to, uh, to discuss this topic today about aligning your skill set with your mission. Uh, without the people, your mission really is in danger. You can't perform, you can't do it correctly, you can't succeed in the mission set. So as it applies to cyber, really starting to look at a way to bring your cyber skills, uh, your personnel with those certain skills together to complete that mission. So I kind of wanted to start with sort of a mission overview, right? So you're looking at it from a force protection threat. You have anti-American activists in the Horn of Africa enlisting social media to spread word of attack or dissent over local military uh, population. The objective that you have is to find the right soldier or army civilian in which who has a background in information systems open source intelligence, social media analysis. Since you're going to the Horn of Africa, I hope they know something about the language sets that are there, as well as just from a technological, uh, technological standpoint of being able to bring together the information systems. What makes it a challenge to find somebody with all those types of skills is that the data is in silos. You can't breach together information about someone's health record, a soldier's health record, are they cleared to deploy? You can't breach the information about their skill sets. Uh, their performance evals are sort of se uh, segregated and siloed off. Right? You don't know what other products and intelligence that background that they do have where their subject matter expertise lies. So when these opportunities for deployments come up, usually you have one soldier, citizen, pop their hand up and say, I I'll deploy. Whereas many others are sort of heads down in the weeds actually doing the job. So because of that, when you're trying to find an example, uh, sorry, when you're trying to find a soldier to be able to come out, you get someone who can sort of say, yes, I have a background in information systems. But when you're looking for that person, you don't know if they have tactical. You can't see their deployment based on their self-identification of that they want to go. You can't see if somebody has that linguistic meets technological capabilities, right? And on top of that, when you're looking to uh, use your assets and deploy them forward, whether they're a person uh, or a thing, you can't look at just at Horn of Africa because maybe the resource that you have doesn't allow you to actually pull that search out, All right? So just as a, in the current system as is, right, you bring in one person, John Know-It-All. He says, absolutely, I know information systems, but he has zero certifications. There's nothing that, that backs us up. Uh, nothing in his, uh, his, EP, his uh, performance evals other than the fact that he worked the help desk right as he came out of his AIT training. And... Uh, Part of the uh, unique capability that uh, is possible but still is lacking is what if he's on social media saying that he's, uh, he's really disgruntled with the Army, and yet you have a disgruntled soldier who now wants to deploy. Is that someone that you really want to send forward, representing you and your mission? So the mission changes, the requirements change, but yet the systems are still old and outdated and trying to bring up. So with the new advancements, new certifications, new uh, technological uh, expertise, you can't keep up with this information in an eval system, nor in your own databases as you manage the people. You can't see a cohesive view. What if there is that soldier who wants to deploy, who is that subject matter expert, has a degree in information systems, is cleared health-wise, and his security clearance and his open, basically, social media all check out to bring together? If you want to look at all those different items, you have to go to a bunch of different resources. And that includes databases, that includes people. And maybe you get a complete answer, but most likely you get about two to three pieces of that information. You can't map this complexity of a holistic soldier and what they can provide currently. What we approach is sort of a strategic workforce solution aspect, where in our capability, that you can look at the organization ontology and you can expand a search beyond just information systems versus open source intel. You can bring in social media. If I put in that I need linguistic in, in the Horn of Africa, it, you can actually search all the different languages that sort of come in. So you can find that holistic person. Right? So by this, you can actually identify proactively two people, even without ever having to put out an announcement. Because again, subject matter experts are usually heads down doing the job, writing the reports. So through a strategic workforce proactive solution, you can identify two people who might have not even known about the opportunity, or maybe one who did and one who didn't. So through a solution like that, you can identify 
two proof you see on the left hand right hand side julie humble and tom hate forms we see julie is the actual author of three products three products about information systems in djibouti without actually necessarily searching for the word djibouti where it comes out because djibouti being in africa if you're searching on an ontology for africa all the different uh, countries can come out of there you can see statistics about her product right you see that her product has been viewed x number of times downloaded reviewed and via a government email where she's talking to her supervisor in chat or through email up to her command because she's really looking for a deployment opportunity but she just doesn't know about a resource where she can go on the other side tom hate forms who's an open source intel analyst he's completed advanced certifications in his part time and is going to school he's coming with an infantry background. So he is familiar with tactical operations, but it may not be reflected now as he's moved into a new position. He has multiple deployments on his belt and he continuously working on his BS, which he only states in LinkedIn. It's not something he said because he doesn't want to brag about anything. So Tom, in this case, wasn't looking for an opportunity. Julie, in fact, was looking for an opportunity. And now you sort of have a proactive without even having a job announcement, proactive approach. And that solution kind of looks like this, where you have sort of a workforce data hub, where you can take a look at the soldier from a holistic view. You can look at connection into the personnel system, finance system, education system, personnel uh, you know, review system. You can take a look at what they're doing in social media. You can take a look at what they're doing uh, just across the education platforms and bring that together so that way you can identify that future capability, that future soldier that you need in order to deploy. That kind of example is applicable in multiple domains still within cyber. Whether you have an insider threat issue, uh, look what happened with Reality Winner when she has access to you know different databases, different uh, high side, low side, JWIX, nets. She has access to printing where you can actually start to see logs of people of what they're doing. Being able to be proactive and actually stop something like that in the in uh, from happening. You can look at it from a state actor, right? Uh, state-sponsored agency wanting to deliver software. What if you're looking for someone who needed, uh, who had a background in a very particular software system? You can look proactively for that, as well as just professional growth. What about just the morale of your people? Uh, how many times have we been sort of stagnant in a job where we sit there for three years? And we don't want to necessarily PCS, but we would love to have another mission application. These are all sort of the applications in which you can go forward by using a strategic, holistic 360 view of, of the workforce. And that can be applied at a national level, as well as even as something as a lower tactical battalion level. It's just sort of a vision. Does anybody have any questions on this? We do have a solution for that. So Mark Logic has a solution uh, currently at NGA for this, as well as uh, they're developing one for other agencies at Fort Meade. Yeah. Uh, so part of it is sort of twofold. Uh, you look at it from a workforce career development, in which case NGA is using it as a career center, uh, both to uh, announce advertisements and vacancies, as well as to pull in people who are looking for promotion. From the counter intel side, then security takes a look at it. So it just depends on what the program uh, manager says, what their requirements are. But when you're looking at it from a security aspect of it, then it just depends. You know, there's the the holistic view that I think of the of what I showed you here, and then you can also just sort of pick and choose the different systems that you would want. And so from a SSO uh, adjudication uh, and insider threat aspect, they'll start looking more towards social media background investigation side too. Okay. Uh, external adversary using it against us. Yeah. Correct. So, in other words, uh, if I'm ISIS and I'm looking at LinkedIn social media, say that. If I was pure state and I stole OPM data and then I wanted to integrate it into a system like this, yes. Who to target? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, that's a very dangerous. So. I know from our standpoint, a solution that we're looking at is the NBIS replacement system, right? So when you're looking at all the different security aspects of who's accessing your network, who's touching it, we provide a security part to the database. So we can actually see who has the privileges, who is trying to access through using those logs. 
you can apply that to the network, you can apply that to the information system, and that from a from a work role for whoever's hosting that can also help start to start to determine that. So MarkLogic is actually hosting a fall workshop uh, coming up. We do have one, I believe, in November 14th, where we'd go more into depth about our security features. All right. All right, that's all I have. Thank you.